Yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. You're so silly. What? Yeah, yeah. Right. Lady Justice here, getting the people juices flowing. In this pressable, we shall see snippets and clips of the presser hard at work. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your ride. Yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up and get the fuck out of my way before I fucking... Police! Fuck the police! Yeah, press on. You're gonna see what happens when I pull my presser out. When you pull... Yeah. To press on? Press on. Press harder. <laughs> yep, press now. I'm offended by that word. It was a crime. But to say the Texas real eyes, eh. are, you know, are you really or are you just saying that all the problems? So now it has to create a breach. You said you're their lieutenant? Yeah. Have, have been inappropriate, have, inappropriate? have done something wrong. How are they inappropriate? You, you were under the impression that uh, the S word is yeah. disorderly conduct? It is. The shit, the shit, the shit, the shit. But I don't give a damn. I'm in public and I'll film what I want, and if you don't like it, that's just tough shit. Why not? Oh, is that a crime now? You're aware that we still have freedom of speech in the United States of America? Okay, your, your buddy there tried to insinuate that I can't use a swear word in public. You can if someone's offended by it. You know, get the fuck off that sidewalk, blah, 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 blah. And then they're like, what did you say to me? And then they're screaming mad and people are coming out that's become the breach of the just noted that that wasn't me. No, it wasn't you. I, I understand that. You wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Okay. Excellent. Okay, lots of times people get disturbed by me filming that. Yeah. That's not a crime. You they have always... they have a right to be disturbed. It's entertaining, isn't it? No. It never fails. They've always got some... Hey, can you stop filming me? I'm in public, man. You're in public. I'm in public. I don't know what you don't understand, dude. You're probably on camera like in 10 different places every day, man. I can't even see you with my camera unless you come up here. So I don't know what you're tripping on, bro. That guy you guys left me with, and you got him all fired up that like he had a right to be upset about me filming. He was really upset, thanks to you guys. And then um, he attacked his girlfriend, he was choking her. That night? Yeah. But that's the kind of gangbangers that we're dealing with in Georgetown, Georgetown PD. Oh, see, he's choking her by the neck right now. Not that I, I doubt that the camera picked that up, but... On. I was the, uh huh. You, your partner threatened me with arrest for saying shit. So remember, Homer. Yes, did you um, learn about uh, um, disorderly conduct? I did. You I, did. I know very well about it. Well, when we um, were out there, you you were under the impression that uh, the S word is yes. disorderly conduct. It is. It is Somebody not. By it. Um, I suggest that you talk to Sergeant Lanier or Sergeant um, Laughlin okay. instead of uh, probably Roby, who is teaching you guys all wrong. He's not teaching me anything. Well, That's my own judgment. whoever taught you, it's not up to your judgment. There has it to is. be a breach of the peace, you're, you're absolutely an immediate correct. breach of the peace, you're absolutely and correct. you can never and be offended. You're, you are correct. Yes. And that person that was sitting on the bench was offended. Well, so you are it wasn't correct. directed towards him. It doesn't matter. You are, you familiar, you, you are you familiar? in a public place. Are you familiar with Cohen versus place. California? You said it in a public place. Cohen versus and that California. Person was offended. Are you familiar so with Cohen versus California? Peace. That's that's kind of scary. Can you have a guy with a gun tell you that? Yeah, that's Officer Palmer. Yeah. Familiar with Cohen versus California? Are you familiar with what I just explained to you? 
Well, I heard what you said, but... Okay. So you're not going to listen to me? I'm not going to listen No, to I heard you. I am listening. So you're not familiar with Cullen versus California. You're doubling down, Jack the... Have you... Are you familiar with the Cullen versus California case? Say that again. Cullen versus California? Um, yes, I've heard of it, yes. Um, that's the a case that says that... Um, Fuck the draft is appropriate to say in a courtroom. It's appropriate. Okay. Fuck the draft. Okay. Fuck the draft is appropriate in a courtroom. Okay. Right. So certainly it's appropriate on the street. Okay. It's a famous free speech okay. case. You've never heard of it. So can I ask you why you're bringing this up to me right now? Well, because you know when um, you and, and Palmer were over there, and I mean I know you weren't. But you were still under the impression that just somebody being offended, um, you know, if, if every time somebody was offended, 66 million people get offended every time Donald Trump tweets. So you're going to bring that up every time I see you now? And, and every time I see other officers too, <laughs> Officer Graves. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm interested in the um, disorderly conduct thing. I didn't know that that was going to be a problem on this department, but... It's that one shift, and they have a lot of problems on that shift. They think that you only have to be detained to be um, ID. Uh, they don't think that it's legal to walk on the um, proved shoulder. Um, and now, disorderly conduct. Those are some really overused codes. Disorderly conduct, trespassing, loitering, those kind of things are are really overused throughout the country. You know? And it got changed. It, it used to, if somebody said, I'm offended by that word, it was a crime. But the state, but the state of Texas realized, eh, are, you know, are you really, or are you just saying that you can call the problem? So now it has to create a breach of the peace. So yeah, now, well, it always did. I mean, you can they can say that in the code, and that's not a, illegal. It's not unconstitutional to just say that. But... When you guys as the executive branch try and enforce that on somebody that's just exercising free speech, I mean, any if, if you're pro-abortion and you come out and protest, you're going to offend half the population. If you're against it, you're going to offend half the population. Everything Donald Trump says offends 66 million people. Everything offends somebody, but so that's is it a moved, breach? Yeah. So that's why I moved to a breach. So if, if, if you were out here yelling at those people, Fuck off that sidewalk, blah 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 blah, and then they're like, "What did you say to me?" And then you end up being a screaming match, and people are coming out, and they want to fight. That's become the breach of the peace. If they want to fight, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean right, that right. that I I don't know if I get the fuck off the sidewalk. I don't know if that would be disorderly conduct, but like, fuck well, so, you. Well, that I'm that, gonna fuck you up. That, that kind of thing is that, a threat. The words aren't. It's the actions that the words cause. It's right. Well, but they, it doesn't have to cause the action. It's a reasonable person would breach the peace if those words were said. You know, that's my understanding. I don't know. But, I mean, I've never been. I don't have that problem. And I was shocked to hear that, you know, over I don't give a shit. Yeah. Right? That's like, wow, we're going really far. You know what I mean? And that's, that's kind of scary. You have a guy with a gun tell you that. Yeah. That's Officer Parmer. Yeah, that's... Um... Roby doesn't want to hear it. He doesn't want to be a senior sergeant. Yeah. See, he's, I would say that that crew is the gangbanging crew. Well, I'll work for them. I know. You backing away, I need your name first since you, you look like you're trying to evade. What's your name? Evade. It looks like you're trying to evade. What, what's your name? Sergeant Roby. Roby. Oh, you're a sergeant. Excellent, yes, excellent. I'm one of the people. It's nice to meet you. That, Are you? Okay. That's all right. Are yeah. you? Um... Yes, okay. Oh, you're Palmer. 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 All right. What's your badge number? Sixty-four. Who's your lieutenant? Lieutenant Aaron White. All right. Thank you. Just like to film cops. That's what you do. You try and draft. What's your point? My loved one. I was making observation. And is that illegal? When you um, do a sting, is that entrapment? I think it was a sting. Well, I don't know. What is it? You're the one that's me asking me. Who's your commander? Who's my commander? Yeah. It's Captain Waits. Captain Waits? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah.
You're dismissed. I'm dismissed? Uh-huh. You're not detained. I'm not detained? No. Oh, good. Thank God. Thank God. Good. I'm not detained. What's your badge number? 53. 53. Yeah. I'm not messing with you. Have you heard of the fourth estate? If you're not doing anything wrong, you shouldn't be worrying about it. Well, I don't know. You asked me why I'm messing with you. I'm not messing with you. It's matters of public public interest. So you're the guy to talk to. All the news talks to you, I see. The lady with the statesman went right to you. Captain Waits. Captain Waits? He's, our, yeah, He's yeah. doing an investigation. Public, He's our public information officer. So. Oh, I didn't know that. I knew of him, and he was mentioned in that article about um, uh, the, the rape cop. Two grew in this batch. 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 Do my gang activity. Yeah. I will go do my gang activity. I will go do my gang yeah. activity. What is it? Do you say you're like press on? As in you're like yeah. Press, press on. on and then you assemble say, forth. <laughs> legion about. Legion about. Sound off. Amble, amble. Pursue happiness with your life and your liberty on your property. And for God's sakes, exercise your Fourth Amendment right as one of the people. Not to be in your person. Whatever that means. Press on. Yeah, yeah. Have a good day, Officer Fox. Press harder. Press now. Like, comment, subscribe. Spread the word. Right?